Hey guys, guess what time of day it is? It is called heading home. Um, I have not started this until, you know, late getting on this road right here and heading on home. Um, but uh, it is absolutely beautiful out this evening and the sun is blaring, trees are turning. Um, absolutely awesome. If you looked at my last video about the conversation I had or the topic I had on guys having the right to protect the baby with an abortion, you know, against abortion if they want to, or have the right to be a deadbeat and not support that baby if the wife chooses to. Um, so being that they don't have the right or they don't, yeah, they don't really have a say so and if she keeps it or not, it's pretty much up to her. It's her body, her choice. That's the whole saying they have now, the activists on that. Um, so the guy really has no say so, but when it comes to child support, the wife or the wife, the lady automatically can demand it and get it, um, but yet not give him a choice. Um, and vice versa, he has no choice in keeping it if she wants to get rid of it. Um, he doesn't have the, a way to stop it and protect that child. So anyway, that was the topic this morning. And, you know, that's it. Um, looking forward to the feedbacks. And that's it. <clears throat> but beautiful afternoon. Riker is doing excellent. I have ordered the plexiglass to extend the windshield out to the hands. Somebody told me, told me just put the hand guards on and that'll do great for the winter. Um, but I'm going to run, you know, the windshield will be shaped about the same as you see right in the front. And then extend down almost to the hood or the trunk or whatever you want to call it, that little glove box. And then cut across my hands and I'll come off by where the mirrors are mounted. Um, right there and go straight out and support the ends of the plexiglass on each side. So it'll be like a touring bike windshield on like a BMW or Goldwing, some of that, something of that nature, but all plexiglass. And I'm probably going to do the black smoke um, plexiglass. You know, not much higher than what's right there because you really don't need it. It'll deflect up and over. It's mainly for my arms, chest, and uh, hands to protect it during the cold, cold weather. Um, I really wish it had some kind of deflectors down around your knees, right on the sides, to so I don't have to wear like bibs to keep the wind off the front of my knees, or even. Um, forget what they're called. Help me out. Make a comment below. You know, the chaps. That's it. Chaps. Forget it. I got it. <laughs> um, the chaps. Uh, that would, you know, they would, that would help. Nice insulated chaps. Protect your knees against the wind. Um, instead of having to wear my bibs. It's just one extra piece of clothing I got to throw on, which is a pain. But it's worth it to relax and enjoy the beautiful ride and get some fresh air. Uh, what else? A couple days off. I'm taking about two weeks or a week off one to let the legs repair after that 50k and then i will start training again the next race is the end of february it is going to be very cold race and normally they say it's very wet slushy chance of snow on the ground here in virginia um, so they say it's really nasty that's another 50k and that'll probably be not one of the last ones but last one for that it'll be the first one for the year and the only one um, I may squeeze in a couple um, charity runs in there, maybe a 5K or a 10K, something like that. But um, then I will work on a 50 miler, which is next November. And uh, that'll be my next training. So, and you're wondering why in the heck do you want to run, you know, 50K is 31 miles and then a 50 miler. Um, it's, it's cool. It's really neat to see what you're capable, you're what your body is capable. You think, uh, I can't do that. Yeah, just no way I'm physically fit to do that. Well, most people, and myself included, you're not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have to train, you have to prepare, and that's the whole challenge of it, is to do the right training, the right nutrition, to get yourself at that level to where you can finish it without killing yourself. Um, so that's, that's the whole challenge to me. That's like fishing, you know, when I used to go fishing all the time and hunting and you know, that part was a challenge. Uh, I used to do a lot of the studying of the weather and 
uh, barometric pressure and water temperature and clarity and you know all sorts of stuff more so than just oh it's a beautiful day let's go fishing you know i got more into the science end of it you know same with the running um i like that challenge and i like that working in you know in depth more so than just let me grab a pair of shoes and go out for a run and yeah i can do a 10 mile run i want to do the 10 mile run and have fun doing it not that i'll compete and win it or anything like that i'm you know i'm 55 years old but uh it's cool you know it's cool to to work your body like that and see what you're capable of especially at an older age you think oh i'm over 50 i'm downhill from here and everybody else i know is 50 they sit on the couch and watch sports and got a beer belly or a big gut and high cholesterol and are on blood pressure medicine and diabetes and all this other stuff and it's only because they choose to it's not because they have to um, your health and your fitness is strictly your choice um, so anyway uh, but that's it um, great afternoon and like I said it's a short ride short conversation because I didn't want to bore you with a little bit of highway and then down the other highway there. So I waited until I got on these beautiful back roads with the trees and sunlight. Um, I'm very fortunate that I get to ride this thing and have this much, you know, country roads and not to have to deal with uh, traffic lights. So, uh, not traffic lights, traffic in general. Um, last year when I was traveling all over the United States, um, some of the cities I was in, you know, like I said in one of my other videos, was just absolutely horrible. Um, I love Texas. Texas was awesome. Um, great place to run, great people, but the traffic there could be horrendous, especially when I was working just uh, west of um, Dallas. I think it was uh, Irvine, 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 Texas. Um, that was pretty bad. San Antonio wasn't that great. Uh, gosh, I don't know, a couple other places that were pretty busy, not too great. Um, then, of course, down in Florida, Tampa, anywhere around Tampa was horrible. That was absolutely horrendous. But anyway, here's my turn. Thank you very much for watching, and I really do appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys later. Everybody have a great day. Thank you. Bye.